This is ruining every people that doesn't relate to you. Who are you to come and ruin my life? Everyone, welcome back to another episode of Raz in Hong Kong. I am here because Hong Kong is very dear to me. I lived here for many years of my life. I'm really worried about the city. Hong Kong station has been in the center of the news recently because on Sunday, just September 1st, not Sunday, there's been a lot of violent protests that really came to destroy the facilities and the order inside the station. In this episode today, I'm going to explore the public transport places of Hong Kong. All right, so let's go inside. I just enter on a regular day to the Tongchang station. I just look under repair, the entire booth. The ticketing under repair. Everything has been ruined. Everything here. These things are under repair. They stole the fire extinguisher from here and they used it to flood the entire floor. This whole thing has been shut down. This is so saddening to see this. They literally went to destroy these things for what? Just to block people's entry to the station? See, there's so many people who want to walk through the day, want to get to their work. People just want to continue about their lives. Very, very, very sad. Here again. Actually, Tongchang Station is right near the airport. And there's actually a very famous um, tourism destination right nearby. And it's full of locals and tourists. Always choose these places to ruin sad people. In order to get this ticket, I had to go all the way to the other side to find a not broken machine. Then I had to go back again because the entrance machine was broken too. What do you think is gonna happen when you ruin people's lives like this? What do you think? Do you think this is a way to show your opinion? This is a way to kind of fight? This is childish. This is ruining every people that doesn't relate to you. Who are you to come and ruin my life? I can tell that the people here, from the policemen to the majority of the people, they just want to restore order. They want Hong Kong to be good. They don't want this to influence the civilians and the residents life even the tourists of course but then it's always so hard when you have these kind of people come and ruin everything right it's just impossible i want to thank you thank you so much i just hope it doesn't affect you i hope your families are doing okay as well i don't want your your wives and family to worry keep fighting on us keep the peace keep the peace huh yeah. i wish that these efforts will succeed and will restore social order I really, really wish this happens. And I hope you do too. Going to the city center in Central, and I'm gonna see how it's over there. I just went all the way from Tongchang, all the way up to... I arrived at Lockhart Road, Wan Chai, a very famous street in Hong Kong. I used to hang out here all the time with my friends. We got to eat here, drinking, I have so many memories. And I was shocked, I just went past him today. Look at this. So what is all this, man? Oh, I'm just seeing all around the streets. It's the barricade. It's supposed to be uh, connecting these stuff. Some of them, they it's removed by protesters. Some of them is removed by the government itself. It's to use these barricade as a, as a roadblock. Stop the traffic, stop the, the police oh. from pushing forward. As long as there's nobody hurt, it, that's fine. They put them in a triangle and table tie them together and then barricade the road. Do you work in Wan Chai? Yeah, yeah. Did it impact your work? Some, some days we work from home. Because, really? Uh, the contingency plans in place, even like I live in Sain Kun and there's a protest outside my house. The media makes it look a lot worse. Like my family in London, they call me up. Are you safe? Are you safe? Yeah. But it's, it's like what they show you on TV is not how it really is, you know? I just looked at the news and I looked at the stuff that's going on and I asked around just now. They were using these, they were harming and stealing public property in order to block the roads, to block traffic, to make a mess. And as you can see, these entire things have just been broke, taken away. All the fences are gone. Over there, over there. Like they took the fence and they used it in order to fight. As you can see this, all these things, these are bricks from the ground where the violent protester took these from here to use it in order to build like walls against the police and to throw at the police. Bringing back the beautiful Hong Kong. This is not a one I want to see. I don't want to see this. All the way. All right, guys. 
for the end of this video, I came to one of my favorite spots in Hong Kong. This is a central spot where I always had to meet up with my friends. We would get off the subway station over there, meet on this bridge, and then we'd go hang out in IFC, which is a very popular mall. This is the center that connects Hong Kong through public transport. It's where you can take buses, subways, trams. I want to all of the people who saw what I saw today to think twice. Is it worth it ruining public infrastructure? Things that we enjoy, the most advanced and awesome public transport in the world is ruined by a bunch of people who think that using force and using violence is gonna solve problems. So please look at this beautiful city we have and stop this violence. Stop it. It's, it's really hurting the lives of everyone in Hong Kong and everyone who truly loves Hong Kong. So on this note, I still think Hong Kong is a beautiful city and let's keep it this way. I'm Raz, thank you for listening and see you in the next video. And this place is very empty. This used to be extremely, extremely busy and lively when I was living here.